honeypot ants, check out this guy, belong to several different genera. Some specialized individuals are used as a food storage vessel. Okay, lucky you. These individuals have swollen abdomens that store various foods which can be given to members of the colony when required. It must be pretty heavy. One such individual is shown in figure 19.1. An investigation was carried out into the respiratory substrate of three different genera of honeypot ant by measuring the oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide production. Okay, so let's move over. So we've got the data here. We'll come back to that because we're going to have to see what we're going to have to do. Use the data to suggest the likely diet of each genus of honeypot ant. Okay, so this is respiratory quotient. If you don't know what the respiratory quotient is, um, this is only OCR students, so any, any other students can just ignore this. Um, okay, so it's... Uh, going to be well you're going to have to diet okay so we don't have the justification for this but we do know it's mainly carbohydrates so this is camp camp on otus campan okay this guy okay so it's kind of so let's put the rq here um And that is basically, if, as soon as you can fill that in, then you're sorted. Okay, so maybe I'll give you a bit more of an nudge. So if you want to just do that for yourself, then pause this video or come out of this video because I'll give you a bit more indication on what this is. So this is the respiratory quotient is basically the, the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide produced. Well, we can see here we've got 0.88 and point, well, I'll do the sums, but basically they're the same. So we've got point, um, 0.89, am I doing this the right way? For this one, it doesn't really matter because um, basically it's one. So 0.59 divided by 0.66 gives me 0.9 basically, which is protein. Okay, so um, uh, how do I, how much? Okay, so we wanna do basically, it's CO2 divided by O2 is going to give me a decimal somewhere, or well, in fact, not necessarily a decimal, somewhere is going to be a value somewhere between one and it's going to decrease to something or other. 0.7 is the lowest you need to know about. And these are going to equate, different decimals are going to equate to different, different things. So one, I will give you the answer is carbohydrates. So if, if the volume of carbon dioxide produced is equal to the amount of the volume of oxygen consumed, then if you have a one-to-one -one ratio, then you're respiring carbohydrates because there's an equal number, you produce an equal number of carbon dioxide molecules when you're respiring um, carbohydrates. So the justification is that the RQ is one here. And then you're gonna have to know the others. If not, then if you don't know it, then you have to go back to the ultimate guide, watch the lesson, figure it out. And you've got four boxes to fill in. You're going to get one per row because there's three marks here. The justification is our mark and what the diet is, is the other thing. Chitin is a polysaccharide found in insects. It is used to form the hard outer casing of their bodies. It's given to you. You're not required to know what it is, but what is it similar to? Well, it's got a bit of nitrogen in there, but we've got basically like this hexagonal ring with our extra carbon on here. So we've got a hexose basically. We've got what kind of bond might this be? Um, got our carbon numbers numbered. Uh, using the information state, two similarities and two differences between the structures of chitin and glycogen. Okay, um, in the structures, we wanna give about the structure, nothing to do with the function, but the structure. Okay, so what are some, you should know the structure of glycogen. It's a polymer of alpha glucose. You should know the structure of alpha glucose and therefore you can, you can, make some similarities and differences here. We have the other, the second six mark question, um, the extended response with an asterisk. Insects use glucose to generate ATP. 
outline the processes involved in the generation of ATP through chemiosmosis. Now, I wouldn't mention chemiosmosis in the light dependent reaction of, could be clearly talking about insects here. So um, this is a very nice question. Basically, we where is chemiosmosis involved? You need to know what the, the word means. You need to know what parts of respiration are gonna do it and how it generates um, ATP. So that's a relatively straightforward question, I think there. To get more biology videos from me, subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget to try out my complete A-level course in the free trial over on the Taylor Tutors website. Up next, you can transform your grade in about an hour with my grade transformations playlist, or you can watch the video that's been magically selected for you from the people at YouTube.